Yo, what's up guys? In this tutorial, we will take a look at the echo effect and after effect, which can make these really cool looking trails after moving objects. And yeah, this effect is amazing for any kind of motion graphics or even other animations. But yeah, I'd say let's just go. So I'll just delete one or two of these layers. And yeah, let's just delete the effect on this one as well. And what we now have is just a, yeah, just a shape layer, a rectangle just moving up and down quite slowly. And yeah, this looks boring, but we can change that real quick by just applying the echo effect. You can just type an echo in here and just apply it. But yeah, if we now just play this, it will, yeah, not look any, any better, if not even a little bit more worse. So we have obviously have to play around with a few settings. So let's first of all increase the number of echoes to whatever we like. I'll just use 10 and now we can see we have yeah, 10 echoes or actually we can't see it because they are too close to each other. And yeah, we can just change that by yeah, changing the echo time. So I'll just go for something like minus 0.05. And yeah, still it's yeah a bit too close. Let's bring this up even more. So let's go with 0 0.09. And yeah, now we can see that there's a little difference, but again, this looks super weird. And we can't differentiate between each shapes. And here comes the decay effect. And if we put this to something like 0 0.5, you can actually see that now, yeah, each layer gets a bit more transparent and we get this yeah, fading uh, yeah, echo effect. And yeah, with this effect or with the decay turned down to 0 0.5, we can maybe just increase this again a bit to 0 0.05 again, which we tried earlier. So yeah, now they will be a bit more closer and yeah, I think this looks super cool. And obviously we can just yeah, make more echoes. But attention, if we, if we make more echoes, we have to um, yeah, increase the decay again a bit to something like 0.8. But yeah, I think this just looks super cool. And of course, maybe we want this animation to be uh, yeah, not just up and down, but also yeah, rotating a bit around its own axis. And we can do this by pressing R on the keyboard to get rid of the rotation effect settings. And then we can just put in a keyframe at the beginning, go to the end and put something like 720 in here for yeah, two full rotations. And now as you can see, this looks super cool. And yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.